Have you ever noticed that one guy at your gym who looks like he's made of pure stone and every time you ask what his secret is, he just says, bro, creatine. And you're like, yeah, but what does that even mean? You take one scoop, expect to wake up looking like a Marvel superhero and instead, you still look like you manage the Marvel fan club. Today, we're breaking down what creatine actually does, why it works, and how it can literally make both your muscles and your brain stronger. But before we jump in, do me a quick favor. Hit subscribe, drop a like, and comment creatine crew down below if you're part of the movement. It takes two seconds and helps more people see this video. Plus, it tells me you want more no BS fitness science like this. All right, let's start with the basics. Creatine isn't some magic steroid. It's a molecule your body already makes from amino acids found in foods like steak and fish. It lives mostly in your muscles and acts like a battery pack. When you lift heavy or sprint, your body uses ATP, its main source of quick energy. The faster your muscles can recharge ATP, the longer and harder you can go. That's exactly what creatine helps with. It refuels that battery faster than your phone charger on turbo mode. Dr. Eric Rawson from Messiah University, one of the world's top creatine researchers, calls it one of the safest, most studied, and most effective supplements available. And he's right. Over 1,000 peer-reviewed studies have tested it. That's more research than half the supplements on the market combined. So yeah, creatine's not a trend. It's more like the Wi-Fi of your muscles. You don't always notice it working, but without it, everything slows down. Now, a lot of people give up too soon because they don't feel anything after a day or two. Here's why. When you first start taking creatine, only a small percentage gets stored in your muscles. You've got to fill those tanks first, a process called muscle saturation. That usually takes about five to seven days of daily use. Cut to a funny bit, guy taking creatine once, checking mirror every five minutes. So don't expect instant abs or superpowers after one scoop. Think of it like planting a seed. You don't stare at it every hour waiting for a tree. You water it, stay consistent, and boom, results grow. During that first week, you might notice the scale go up a bit. One, maybe two pounds. Relax. That's not fat. That's just water moving into your muscles. Creatine increases the water content inside muscle cells, which is a good thing. It's part of the growth process. And yes, that means you might look a little fuller. Kind of like your muscles suddenly decided to start flexing for Instagram on their own. No complaints here, right? This extra water actually helps your muscles perform better and recover faster. A study by Volick and Rawson in 2003 showed athletes on creatine performed up to 15 more reps on high intensity exercises. That's like doing an extra set for free every single workout. But here's where it gets interesting. Creatine doesn't just power your body, it powers your brain. Research from Dr. Caroline Ray and colleagues 2003 found that creatine improves short-term memory, focus, and reaction time, especially under stress or sleep deprivation. So if you've been grinding all night for a deadline or pulling an all-nighter before exams, creatine might be your brain's secret weapon. It helps your neurons regenerate ATP the same way it helps your muscles. Basically, creatine turns your brain into a Tesla, fast, efficient, and powered by clean energy. No gas required. Even more fascinating, studies from the University of Sydney suggest creatine may help reduce mental fatigue and improve mood in vegetarians and vegans, since they usually have lower baseline creatine levels due to diet. So yeah, this isn't just a gym bro supplement. It's a human performance supplement. Now let's bust a few myths, shall we? Myth one, creatine causes bloating. Nope. It causes muscle cell hydration, which is literally your muscles storing more energy and nutrients. That's not bloating, that's progress. Myth two, creatine damages your kidneys. Wrong again. Multiple long-term studies, like the one by Dr. Portman's in 1999, found no harmful effects in healthy individuals, even after five years of consistent use. Unless you're taking ridiculous doses or have a pre-existing condition, creatine is as safe as your morning coffee. Myth three, if I stop taking it, I'll lose all my gains. 
Not true. You might lose a little water weight, but the actual muscle you built stays, as long as you keep training and eating right. It's not a magic spell that wears off, it's fuel that helps you build real, lasting results. Now, if you want to avoid stomach issues, skip the massive loading phase some people push. Just go with three to five grams a day, every day. Take it with a meal or after your workout and stay hydrated. Remember, creatine pulls water into your muscles, not your stomach. If you're dehydrated, that's when things can get uncomfortable. Drink your water, people. Don't be that guy who dry scoops creatine like it's pre-workout powder and then coughs up a cloud like a dragon. Also, stick to creatine monohydrate. Forget the fancy labels like Micronized Hyperhydrate Fusion Blend. Monohydrate is the gold standard, cheaper, proven and tested. Everything else is just marketing with a higher price tag. Creatine helps your muscles recharge faster, boosts strength, increases endurance, enhances recovery and sharpens your mind. It's backed by decades of research used by athletes, doctors and even astronauts. Yes, NASA has tested creatine supplementation for preserving muscle mass in zero gravity. That's how real it is. If it's good enough for space, it's probably good enough for your leg day. Ultimately, creatine isn't just about looking better. It's about performing better in every sense. Whether you're an athlete, a student, a parent, or someone who just wants more energy and focus, this tiny scoop of powder can make a massive difference. So if this video helped you understand creatine better, hit that like button, subscribe, and share it with a friend who still thinks creatine is some kind of steroid. Comment below, have you tried it and what results did you notice? I love hearing your stories. And hey, if you haven't tried it yet, maybe it's time to let your muscles and your brain taste a little science.